What are the five best resources for graduate school application preparation? Stick around, let's go through them together today on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy and personal academic mentor, Dr. Jay Phoenix Singh, coming at you to be able to discuss my favorite, the five, in my opinion, best resources for graduate school application preparation. If you are watching this video, you are seriously thinking about taking the plunge and applying to grad school, whether that's for a master's or a doctorate, you know I've got your back, and I wanna be sure to be able to prepare you as well as I feasibly can. Now, the ways that I can personally do it for free, one of them, obviously, is this channel, but I also want you to watch this free masterclass that I've prepared for you. It is called the three essential templates that you need to get into your dream grad school. I give you a template for a CV. I give you a template for an email to be able to approach your target supervisor. I give you a template about how to be able to write your personal statement. So be sure to be able to head down there. It's absolutely free. There's no strings attached or any funny business. Take a look. I made it because I love you, okay? So that's number one. The second one is Publication Academy. If you've watched the channel before, you know that I'm intimately involved with Publication Academy. Why do I love Publication Academy? Because I give exclusive modules on there, information you, I promise you, will not get anywhere else on a number of different topics from targeting Target grad school supervisor, as well as program identification, as well as how to write your personal statement, paragraph by paragraph, literally line by line. Uh, I also teach how to write a stellar diversity statement, how to be able to craft a perfect academic CV with loads of examples of successful ones from throughout the year. So not just a general template, I literally give you examples of everything. And last but not least, I also help you with grad school interview preparation. We've got even more modules that are going to get launching. It is so incredibly cheap. It is actually cheaper than even one session with me to get a full year of access for Publication Academy, so screw me and instead sign up for Publication Academy. It's great. All right, number three, grad school websites. Visit the official websites of the grad programs you're interested in, okay? They provide valuable information about admissions requirements, obviously important. The curriculum, you need to take a look, especially at electives. Right? Are there electives that actually suit your interests or not? All right. Faculty members, if there's no target supervisor, what are you doing? Don't apply to that program, please. All right. Research opportunities, if that's what you're interested in. If they're target faculty members, go to their CV. I want you to take a look at whether or not they're publishing, not just publishing, publishing with students. Super important. Okay, and much more information is gonna be in there. Little top trick from me, make sure you take a look if they have a so-called handbook for the program. Like for example, a lot of PsyD programs have a PsyD handbook. The PsyD program, my gosh, search for that on Google, find it, read it. Some of them are absurdly long. Some are over 100 pages long. Most of them though are anywhere between about 20 to 60 pages. Most of them are fluff. There's gonna be a lot of key information in there though that's going to not only educate you about the program so you can decide if you wanna apply there or not, it's also going to help you to really establish your perceived goodness of fit with the program during interviews and in your personal statement as well, okay? So check it out, that's number three. Number four is online forums and communities, all right? So join online platforms. I'm talking about stuff like Grad Cafe, Reddit's got a grad school subreddit, and of course, a lot of other subreddits, but a general grad school subreddit with loads of great guidance on it. And there's also specialized forums where prospective and current grad students share their experiences, tips, and advice. There's, of course, other YouTube channels that are out there as well. If you have a particular type of degree that you want to apply to, make sure that you're Googling those degree types. There Sometimes they're going to be YouTubers who are so passionate and, you know, the, the quality of the videos in terms of the audio and the video, it may be grainy, but the guidance is solid. So just because you end up seeing some YouTube videos or some YouTube channels, or maybe it's the case that, you know, they're not bright and flashy in a studio and these sorts of things, like we're lucky to have here on Navigating Academia, it's still the case where there is very amazing information. And usually those individuals are so passionate that if you get in touch with them, let's say they're faculty members, for example, or professionals you could find on something like LinkedIn or Twitter, some sort of social media channel and you get in touch with them, they're going to be so excited that you watch one of their videos and that you've got in touch with them. They're much more likely to help you. So I really do recommend that. Okay. And last but not least, number five, my favorite resource for grad school application preparation is campus visits and information sessions. Okay. No campus visits, 
and info sessions are not going to get you into a program. This is not undergrad where, you know, they keep a little tick box, you know, here as some like determining factor. Maybe I guess if all things are created equal, if you're in a program where there's not a target supervisor who's making the decision, yeah, then maybe I suppose it could make a difference. But anything where there's a supervisor involved, this is not gonna be a determining factor, okay? That said, many universities do offer campus tours, information sessions, virtual events for prospective students, and attending these sessions can help you gather insights about the programs. It can help you to meet faculty or current students. Always meeting target supervisors in person is the best. Whether it's on campus, whether it's going to conferences and meeting them there, look at their CV, go to their presentation section. People have pet conferences, go to those conferences, meet these people. That's the idea, okay? And then also, this obviously is gonna help you get a sense of the campus environment. I'm assuming that you're probably going to go to an in-person sort of grad school. Obviously, there's loads of online grad schools these days, in which this is not particularly relevant advice, but campus visits, if there is a physical campus you're going to be going to, it's a good idea, get the cheapest flight that you can, hop on the plane, fly out there, and meet whoever you can, all right? That is my recommendation. You can see whether it feels like home or not. So, those are my five recommendations for my favorite resources for graduate school application preparation. You guys know me, you can always get in touch and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me right down here at www.gradschoolapplicationcoach.com. I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.